Hi, um, so the last few days have been a, a little rough physically for me. Um, I've had, a, I guess, I guess um, per, in part because I'm taking the flagell, uh, my stomach's just been really, really bad. It just, uh, as I mentioned, thunderstorms before where there's thunderstorms and, and lightnings as well happening. Um, and so for the last uh, three nights, um, except for last when I had a lot of trouble sleeping, so I would wake up at 3 or 4 a.m. Um, with these really, really brutal stomach attacks. Um, so it just feels like I was getting punched um, around the diaphragm, and that would cause a lot of gagging. Um, and like really uh, kind of like a electrical discharge, if you can imagine. So something really intense. So um, that made me unable to sleep and... Uh, and that's also very related to a pretty severe nausea. Um, so that's why I'm speaking a bit closer to the mic today because I have, if I speak too loud, then the nausea gets a lot worse and I can start gagging, unfortunately. Um, so it's a, it's kind of a tough part, uh, especially the not sleeping part, but I do have, um, it's some, yesterday was very positive for that actually because I did wake up, so yesterday, Sunday morning at 3.30, um, but by 11 a.m. Uh, I went back to sleep and I slept six hours till 5 p.m. which was great um, and by 10 p.m. I was ready to sleep again and I slept till um, six and then till about eight kind of half uninterrupted um, which means that I uh, I got some of that recuperation done um, however I'm, I'm very shaky um, I just tried to take a bath um, which on, on many days I can do up to 30 minutes, a hot, hot Epsom salt bath. Um, and after 10 minutes I had to get out, um, because I was getting really, really lightheaded. Um, and I felt like I was going to, to, uh, to puke. And, uh, so yeah, it's very tiring. I can't, um, I can't stand for too long because I have this overall body shakiness. So, um, some days standing has been easier, you know, um, and now I, I, I just can't. And I, 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 I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear my own voice trembling. So, yeah, that's the kind of situation it's been, at least physically. Um, and, yeah, I, one thing I did want to mention about the gagging and all that, um, as much as I do blame Flagyl for the increase in that, this is something that I um, actually had uh, many years ago. I struggled a lot with what was diagnosed as, you know, a symptom group, which is IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Um, no cause, doesn't make you feel worse, uh, doesn't get worse, and uh, yeah, just go home with a pain pill, essentially, that's IBS. Um, although, for the record, even probiotics can help a lot for IBS uh, and diet, of course. Um, yeah, and so when I had the really bad diet IBS, I would often wake up in the morning and have this, like, gagging um, and I would often, you know, uh, not be able to keep my breakfast in and all that. This was a few years ago. I did hypnosis therapy for IBS, which helped a lot and kind of calmed down my, my system, which coincidentally also allowed me to sleep better after my hypnosis sessions, uh, after I finished them. I mean, um, I haven't slept, I've been, ever since then I've been sleeping much better, even if, you know, these days it's disturbed. Um... So that's on the part of my physical health. You can see as I'm sitting here, I'm sweating bullets as well. It's quite warm in the house, but uh, sweating's been an issue for me as well. Um, it's all part of it. It's all part of, uh, you know, the treatment and healing and kind of getting rid of your, your toxins and all that. It is quite warm, but I still don't usually sweat like this. Um, but I did want to mention something about my mental health. Um, because a few weeks ago I, I, I made some kind of pretty candid videos about um, feeling depressed um, and how it was kind of hard to see the light. Um, and I have to say that that's pretty much gone. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, purely a bit brain chemistry thing or if it's, you know, the fact that I got a hat and I can go outside a bit more. Um, the, the fact that, um, I worked hard at it. I mean, I, I really did not want to give in to those, those negative feelings and I, I worked hard at, at remaining positive. Um, it's, it's a mix of a whole bunch of small and big factors. Um, my anxiety is still pretty high, um, but I'm handling it pretty well and I think it's getting a bit easier. 
Um, I'm, I'm calmer and uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't always feel like I'm kind of on the attack or on edge or very irritable. So that's really positive. Uh, with the weeks, that effect should go down as well. Um, and uh, so I'm really, really grateful for that, especially for like the loss of the depressed feelings because those are just really hard to deal with and uh, they just make the world a dark place for me and I really can't, can't, uh, can't afford to do that. Um, and no one can really, but you know, obviously depression is, is, is a big problem. It's, it's, you know, it's a comorbidity with any sort of illness, uh, especially any sort of chronic illness, because, uh, you know, it's hard to always keep up hope when you feel like you don't have any, and eventually your brain just can even go into kind of a configuration where, where that's your reality. Um, and so really, really grateful and, uh, and happy to be going on.